Hi everybody. Today this is a quick update on some new products we've got arriving shortly, which are going to be here in the next week or two. We have Bofeng's new BF999, which seems to be the new version of the tried and tested 888, uh, which must qualify as the cheapest proper programmable radio in the world. Will the new one be a cosmetic update or actually have new features? Don't know yet, so watch out for the review, which we'll do as soon as it arrives. Things have been held up a bit by the Chinese national holiday, it seems, so we're having a bit of a wait. We also have a QYT KT7900D coming. It's a quad band radio that probably offers little to anyone outside America with a 220 meg amateur allocation. It also seems to have a fourth band that covers frequencies that aren't actually available to the public anywhere in the world. So uh, this one could be interesting. It's been around for a while, but I thought we'd give it a spin and see what we think. We should have a couple of Zastone products coming too. A rather nice looking FM only mobile that's being sold under a couple of brands and a DMR handheld that looks rather like the TYTs. How identical? I don't know. Um, a couple of other Bofen products are coming too. The often moaned about DM5R. This is the radio that's not amateur digital friendly, not having tier two ability, allegedly due to the problems with its way of dealing with the DMR dual slots. I've ordered it to see if I can get it to work with the other DMR kit I have. I'm not expecting it to work, but it's worth checking out. The final product is the Bofem UV6R. It seems to get some good reviews, so I've got one of those coming, so I'm going to add that to the list. Finally, as I get some time, I'm going to be doing some testing on the radios I have here in terms of sensitivity. I've noticed on the forums people complaining about some radios not hearing things that others can. So while the published specs look okay, I thought it'd be useful to compare radios on their ability to produce usable audio, rather than just mimic the usual test conditions. I think I'm going to measure their practical performance. I'm thinking about um, opening the squelch and then measuring the point at which an injected tone can be heard above the noise, and then perhaps measure the point at which a fully quietened signal is produced. I suspect the way the increasing signal level is handled by some of the radios is a bit skewed. Some of my radios seem to only produce clear audio with little background noise, and below this, noisy signals which just are totally unreadable, while others have a more gradual increase in signal to noise at the low end. Some of my Bofengs, for example, open the squelch on extremely noisy signals you can't understand, while others open only on noisy signals that you can. So it's going to be interesting to see if the performance of any of these radios I have is notably different. So that's what's coming up in the next week or two, and I'll get these done as soon as I can. So if you subscribe, you'll get a YouTube notification when they're done. See you soon.